Shapka! So why is it that we can literally invest £200,000 over the course of 20 to 30 years in a house, yet when it comes to investing a couple of hundred quid in your health to get a result within a couple of weeks, it's a no-go. Well, let me talk about that. Come over here. As I time my rest, I've been thinking about this and we invest in houses because we're conditioned that way. We invest in a property because we believe that it will give us a great return in the future. And it's a smart investment. Property is a very good investment by, by all means. But the issue with it is, it's not certain. And the problem is, is why we invest in things like houses and homes and stocks and shares and things that generate money and we don't invest in our health is quite simple because we've been conditioned over the years to value money more than we value our health. That's just the fucking truth. There are plenty of rich people in very ill health. There are plenty of people who make lots of money but have no time to go to the gym, no time to work on their health, no time to eat healthy food. So they're living on the go, they're convenience eaters, they're go, go, go people. But here's the truth, if you are ill, if you are fat, if you are insecure, unconfident, if you are anxious, depressed, no amount of this stuff makes a difference. Money is amazing. And yes, you should be looking to improve it as your life goes on. Everybody should be living a life of abundance and having things that they desire. But if it's at the expense of your health, then it ain't gonna mean jack shit. We've been conditioned to value money so much that we'll work and make excuses about not being able to look after our health. But then what at the end of that? Like, let's take the house example. So we talk about investing 200 grand into a house to in 20, 30 years, maybe expect a 50,000 to 100,000 pound gain on that investment. But then again, the housing market, as we know, is volatile. So you might actually get back less than what you paid, depending on how the stock market goes at that time. Now the likelihood is you will get back more. But when it comes to your health, you will 100% always get back more than you put in. And not only that, when it comes to your fitness, your strength, your internal energy, once you start putting good food in, once you start lifting weights, going for runs, doing press-ups, doing things that challenge your body physically, you will get a return in a matter of weeks. Quite literally, you will start to see the scales drop within weeks. You will start to see the skin come, the fat come off your face, the backs of your arms, your legs, your hips, your belly, within a matter of months. Yet, you complain about spending a couple of hundred pound a month on your health but yet you'll happily spend £100 on a night out on the drink, you'll spend money on this stuff up your nose, you'll spend money on wine every night, even though it's just six quid, all those six quids add up to well over £100 a month, and you know it. When it comes to investing in a house and a massive, huge commitment and a big financial strain, the average UK mortgage is £600 a month, yet if we were to spend you know, less than a third of that on my health, it's too much, it's too expensive. But we still manage to spend that money on alcohol and takeaways. We value entertainment and comfort more than we do challenge and education. Think about that. Let me do my fourth and final set of this squat here as I'm talking. This is 120 kilo today. I broke my ankle six months ago. I'm squatting 120 kilo six months later because consistency pays. Doing the right things consistently enough will keep you going. Even though I had to stop squatting for five months, because I've done so much of it, I can now build back up to what I used to be able to do. Because consistency pays, and when you invest consistently in your health, it will pay you back dividends. Just like you consistently add into a great stocks and shares, or a great uh, property portfolio, and likely it will, will pay back, but nowhere near as fast as what health will. Health will pay you back far quicker than any other monetary investment ever will. So why the fuck are you not investing in it and putting some time and energy and fucking money in it? Stop being a cheapskate. Let me get this out of the way. Shut! Shut! Wow. <laughs> that was hard. That was intense. See, when you do hard things and you do them more regularly your life gets easier your life just gets easier i've just done four hard sets there and i'm about to do more hard sets the way i train is i train to feel good i don't just train to look good i train to feel good first i train for performance and movements squat push pull hinge carry core grip anything like that athletic stuff like jumping running sprinting i train to feel good and I will look good as a side effect. Now, we have it all wrong when it comes to fitness. We want to invest in a new body, so therefore, we pay to lose weight. We pay for fucking liposuction. 
We pay for a gastric band rather than do the hard work. But the thing is, even if you've got liposuction, even if you've got a gastric band, I still know people who've got gastric bands who are still fat because what they do is they drink their calories, even though they can't eat them. And what they do is they don't change their identity because the investment of time, the investment of energy, and yes, the investment of money because you value what you invest in. When you pay, you pay attention, and the more you pay, the more you pay attention. When you do that consistently enough, it changes your identity, your sense of self, who you believe you are. This is why when people look for the quick fix and they get it too fast, they don't change who they are and they don't actually get a result, a long lasting result. They still struggle because they haven't changed who they are inside. And this is a matter of talking about what I was talking about at the start with investing. An investment is where we get a return, a return on what we put in. So we put in effort and we get something back from it, whether that be a financial gain, whether that be a time gain, an energy gain, whatever. We want a return on our investment. And we're smart enough to know that property will give that within a time. But when we invest energy in our health, money in our health, time in our health, then we get an inv a return, sorry, even quicker. So we always want the quick result. So start fucking investing in your health. You want the quick result. You know it's not gonna happen with your house and the property and the stocks and shares market, but you still put money into it all the time. Why are you not putting a small amount of that into your health? And if you think about it, if you were to consider the amount of cash that you would invest into buying a house over a 20, 30 year period, it would literally cost you less than 10% to get a result 20 times quicker with your body. Think about that. Think about the logic behind that. Think about how that makes sense. Less than 10% of your total investment of your house over the next say 20 years, and 20 times quicker. Imagine that. See, we don't realize what kind of momentum we can get within a few weeks of starting. The hardest part though is starting, isn't it? The hardest part is starting, you're starting your journey. It's always a procrastinating. I'll do it in September when things have settled down, the kids have gone back to school, when my holiday is over, when things have settled down at work, when I've got this out the way, when this has happened, when that's happened. It's always later, isn't it? It's always later. The problem is starting, but once you start, you will be fucking amazed at how quickly things start to happen. When you do the right thing with the right person, of course. But we have to be willing to go through that discomfort of starting. That discomfort of paying the money. That discomfort of feeling unfit. That discomfort of feeling a little bit daft and stupid. That discomfort of not knowing everything. Of, go of being the novice in the room of being the one who feels a little daft at first. You have to be willing to go through that. Otherwise, you'll not grow. You grow through what you go through. But some of you are not taking the risks and challenges. It's risky fucking investing in stocks and shares in a house, but you're willing to put your money down because you believe you're gonna get a return. But you will get a return on your health the quicker you invest. They say that it's not timing when it comes to finance. It's not timing of the market. It's not timing, getting the right perfect investment at the right time. It's time in the market, and that's true. That's why we invest in stocks and shares. The longer you're in it, the more return you get. It's the same with fucking health. It's time in health. Because the longer you train for, the bigger the return you get because you change who you are. And even if you get an injury or a life event happens and you stop for a bit, you can restart. Because it's easier to keep up than catch up when you change your identity to a fit, active, healthy person. But in order to do that, you have to be in the position where you value putting in the effort regularly enough, investing time, energy, and yes, money, into making sure that you do the hard work. Because if you think about it, nothing worth having comes easy, does it? And there's a reason why houses are not 15,000 pounds. Because you wouldn't fucking value it. You wouldn't pay any attention to it. You gotta make sure that you can make the payments. You gotta make sure it's a worthy investment. It's things that can grow. There's also a reason why if you get an expensive car, an expensive watch, you look after it. Because you value it, because it's of a higher price. Why are we not putting a distinct higher value on ourselves? You get healthy, you'll feel wealthy. Because health is wealth and movement is medicine. Here's a muscle up. <laughs> I'm doing them in years. As I discuss this idea of health being wealth, movement being medicine, it takes a long time to grasp that because I think sometimes you hear it and you go, yeah, no, I should do better. I, I could eat better. Probably I have to really get myself to the gym. I say these things like, well, 
I should do, I have to, I kind of ought to, and it's, it's not very appealing, right? But the truth is, if you have a fully functioning body, you might have some injury or ailments. I've got a bit of a dodgy ankle now, and I get shoulder issues from time to time, and back issues, and my body's battered a lot of the time because of what I do. Maybe you do have some injuries. Maybe you do have some fears, some apprehensions. But you gotta understand, you fucking get to work out. You get to go to the gym. You get to go for a run. You get to go in the swimming pool. You get to fucking do active things. You don't have to do them. There are people in this world who have no fucking arms or legs, who are fucking in wheelchairs for the rest of their life, who can't move. And you're sitting there feeling fucking sorry for yourself. If we put it into perspective, see, sometimes we need that fucking harsh wake up call. That makes us go, you know what? I've got nothing to fucking complain about. In reality, I need to step up my fucking game. I need to stop being the victim. Stop blaming time and other people. Stop blaming circumstances. Stop blaming the fact that I can't afford it when I'm out most weekends spending the fucking money on drink and maybe drugs if that's your thing and whatever else you fucking like with entertainment wise. You pay for a Sky subscription, a Netflix subscription. You pay for Amazon Prime, you pay for fucking makeup. You pay for fucking clothes, handbags, whatever's your thing. Everyone finds money for what they value the most. But you need to put more of a value on this thing because the thing from the neck down and the head up, of course, you as a vehicle, as a vessel, is gonna guide you through life. What you have does not fucking define you. Who you are and who you're becoming does. And we gotta start to put a little bit more fucking emphasis on being better. And I'm not just sprouting bullshit here. I'm being honest it's about what it takes. I've invested over a hundred grand into me, the business, and everything in between to learn from coaches, mentors, to buy books, to buy courses, to be around people who are doing things better than me, who are better people than me, to learn from them. And we need to be willing to take a smidgen of the money that we have wasted on shit over the years, and we know we have, whether it be alcohol, drugs, clothes, things that were just threw out, fancy cars, shit like that, and invest it into our personal development, invest it into our mindset, into our health, into things that are actually going to bring a real return. I've been training 20 years. I've been doing this a long time, and I've seen so many people get disheartened and not stop because what they see online is perfection. They see people like me doing a muscle up whilst I'm talking to you, just warming up. But hey, I don't do that to impress you. I just do that to impress upon you the importance of looking after yourself. All I've done is done more reps than most people. That's what separates me. I've just been in longer and done more. I'm nothing fucking special. Everybody can get started. Everybody can make a different choice. And we gotta start thinking outside the box, man. We gotta stop thinking about everything being perfect and the stars are aligning and everything just lining up. Hey, look, there's no perfect time. There's just the right time. And maybe right now is the time you stop fucking about and stepped up your game. I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna finish my workout. If you'd like to learn how to create outstanding levels of energy, motivation, and self-control, my second book, Supercharged, The Modern Day Guide to Doing Exactly That, is out now.